Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are doing great. So, this is the tiny little camera that I'm going to be talking about today guys. Yes, this is the GoPro 6. This is not even the latest version. So the reason behind why I'm making another video about GoPro is I already made another video. But this is the second time that I'm making a video on GoPro specifically. Because there's a reason behind that. Because so a lot of people keep asking me that what kind of camera should I buy like that kind of stuff whenever you guys ask me what kind of camera you should buy there's only one camera that pops up in my mind and that is the GoPro you need a camera that is very small easy to use you can you want to carry that camera whenever you go right even while you're playing sports and even when you're streaming right especially in our Tibetan communities nowadays we have a lot of new youtubers and uh, most of them are buying uh, action cameras like GoPro and Osmo and all these kind of things so there are a few things that you can do in order to create your uh, GoPro videos into a very cinematic looking videos so the first thing what you really have to do is that whenever you're shooting video in GoPro you have to shoot in flat profile there is two options one is GoPro color and the other one is flat picture profile so what is the benefit of shooting in flat profiles i know many of you guys know but for those who don't know let me explain right if you shoot in flat profile it looks really colorless and desaturated uh, video but later in the post production when you are editing the video you can add a lot of colors you can bring back those colors you can add on your own style and you can also add some custom LUTs to enhance the overall look of your video and that is incredible right so another thing is that while you're shooting in GoPro I suggest you to shoot every video in slow motion slow motion I mean like you must shoot in high frame rate for example like 120 what it does is that when you are editing them you can slow down those video and achieve very smooth looking slow motions right I mean slow motions are one of the key tools in uh, like creating cinematic videos if you guys notice most of my b-rolls are in slow motions because while we shoot slow motions it really attracts the viewers attentions and i don't know it gives me certain joys right all right guys the last thing is that whenever you shoot videos in gopro and when you're editing them please make sure you white balance your photo or video whatever it is right because it can really bring the cinematic looking because if your colors are not correct and uh, white balance is wrong then there's no way that you can really achieve the uh, like good skin tone and everything that you really have to in order to have a cinematic looking video right so make sure whenever you are editing GoPro videos first you white balance them if you don't know about how to white balance your video and like that uh, I will link some videos uh, in the description below then you can check some people really explains it in a very good way alright guys so here's an example that a few photos that I took from GoPro these are side by side comparisons when you shoot in flat and then you first color correct and then white balance the image and then you apply your custom LUTs and this is the final product as you guys see the picture looks really flattened and desaturated and then the other side is very colorful and very cinematic looking all right guys that's pretty much all and see you guys in the next video for those of who who are using gopros don't just simply capture videos and then upload it directly make some changes like do some color corrections do some color grading and turn your videos into a very cinematic looking videos and if you want to know more about my uh cinematic settings for a gopro make sure you check my other video which is linked in the description below and that's pretty much all guys and see you guys in the next video